Hey guys, my name is Butsumio, and today we learned some potential new details about the two new operators coming to Rainbow Six Siege, Maestro and Alibi. Now you need to know going into this that this is not an official reveal. This is a leak, so we need to take it with a grain of salt, but if this information is true, these two new operators are definitely going to be bringing something new to the table. And so first of all, we have Alibi. Now we already knew that she was going to have access to some sort of decoy or hologram gadget from a previous leak, but we now know that if an offensive operator, she is on defense, if someone shoots at it, it will actually mark them as if they were scanned by Lion for a couple of seconds. Now as long as we look past the realism of this gadget, because it doesn't make any sense. Why does it only mark you when you shoot at it? How does it mark you? As long as we look past that detail, I think this could add in a really cool dynamic into Siege. It is going to hinge though on how real this hologram looks though. If it's just a blue operator like we see in movies in the corner of the room, probably not going to be all that effective. Even if you rush on in without droning, I don't see how anyone's going to be fooled by that. You might do a double take because you don't remember an object being in that corner of the room, but you're definitely not going to shoot at it. And so if I had to take a guess, this hologram is going to look fairly live-like. It's not going to move, it's going to be static, which is going to be one giveaway, but you're going to have to at least look at it through your drone for maybe a second to realize that, yeah, that is is the decoy. It might have a shimmer to it or something along those lines, but it's going to look live-like enough so when you do rush on in and you don't have any intel of what's in that room, uh, you might be distracted enough to take a shot at it while everything is kind of popping off around you, which is going to give that defensive team the advantage. If I had to take a guess, this is Ubisoft's unique way at trying to slow down the game a little bit more. Right now, we're in a rush meta where everyone plays with Lion, Lion activates his ability, everyone charges on in and takes everyone out while they're standing still. Well, what if you had a decoy that's always standing still, they charge on in, and now the tables have turned a little bit. Especially when Lion gets nerfed in a patch, that may no longer be as viable. And so really it just seems like Ubisoft may be trying to get people to drone a little bit more, take their time and identify what's in the room before they charge on in. Now it's really difficult to tell how useful this operator will be in the long run until we actually are able to play with this gadget. I'm not 100% sold on the idea that it's going to be able to mark people like Lion if you take a shot at it because while I don't think it's the worst thing ever especially considering that this only just punishes people that rush and don't drone and don't really take their time and slow things down like I think it's okay but do we really want to have a trend where every new operator is able to mark the enemy and maybe basically able to shoot them through walls I don't necessarily know if that's the right direction I want for Siege but of course only time will tell the next operator that we learn more about is Maestro, who is also going to be on defense, and he's going to have access to an auto turret. This is where things get a bit confusing. According to the leak, when his turret is inactive, it's going to be in shell mode, and you're not going to be able to take it out with normal weapons. He also only has access to one of these gadgets, and you need to be on your camera to be able to use it. This description makes it seem like it's very similar to Echo's gadget, but it can't go stealth, it can't move around, I believe it's stationary but it has some sort of zapping ability. The description also mentions that you can zap it multiple times if you hold down the button. We don't know if this disorients them, we don't know, maybe it's a stun. Not entirely certain there, but I'm really curious to see why you would want to play as Maestro with this guy if you had just an Echo on your team. One thing I'm really curious about though is that they also mentioned that he is going to be the first defensive operator that's going to have access to an LMG. Now I will admit this doesn't sound all that great on paper because on offense a lot of people can use LMGs and no one uses them because they're very slow and cumbersome. They're not really the best weapons in the game. But that may just be because it's on offense. On defense it may be way more valuable. This is pretty much the way that shotguns work. On offense, they're not all that great. You need to be the aggressor. You have to be the one that runs down that long hallway to close the gap. On defense, you don't need to do anything like that. You can just sit and wait for them to come to you. Shotguns are a lot more useful on defense. That might be the same thing for LMGs. If there's 15 seconds left and you know that offense needs to push through a doorway, we'll just let it rip. They have to come to you. They have to walk through that hail of shots and that's probably gonna mean that they're gonna lose the round because of that. So that might be an interesting new dynamic. And so all in all, I cannot wait to see the official reveal of these two new operators. I'm a bit worried about Maestro. I'm not 100% sold on him. I have trust in Ubisoft. They haven't steered us 
too wrong in the past. Lately, they've kind of had some hiccups, but I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that we can see a return to form. Maybe we can have some meta shifting, well-balanced operators like Mira being introduced and stuff like that. That would be fantastic, but we are going to have to wait for that official reveal. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this information. Are you excited about Maestro? Are you a bit disappointed by the idea of having an auto turret introduced? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.